cold, isn't it? Even here in the Canary Islands, uh, that's off the west coast of Africa, just in case you're not familiar with them. The locals and long time, um, so I say, holiday makers on the islands are complaining about the weather. It's the coldest winter anyone can remember. The daily, the temperatures struggle to get up to 20 degrees. That's 68 degrees if you're in Fahrenheit. And as I recall, I seem to remember this phenomenon going gradually over the last several years. Winter for winter is getting colder and colder and colder. And then I recall the summers. They seem to be getting shorter. So we, we tend to have much more early autumn weather than really summer weather. So, you know, could this be one of the effects of this human-caused global warming that we've been told about? Well, it seemed reasonable, you know, dramatic changes in the weather. Um, that, you know, maybe that's what caused it. So, global warming is causing colder winters and shorter summers. Uh, more bent mal. Uh, could it be that we've got that back to front? I mean, how can global warming cause constant cooler weather? Uh, there's something not quite right in there, isn't there? Um, maybe something else is going on, or maybe the whole thing is. Mm, not very scientifically sound or as the principal proponent of global warming said Mr Al Gore who stuck literally billions of dollars in his pocket trading certificates for carbon dioxide production even he said in 2011 the scientific facts do not support the fairy tales oh, sorry the theory of global warming therefore we must make it into a religion so that it becomes a required belief and then we can just ignore the scientific found finding altogether so what to you would seem to be a reasonable thing to do in these circumstances I mean okay if you believe this fairy tale sorry theory that um, human produced carbon dioxide changes the weather interesting um, well just to put it in perspective 90% of the carbon dioxide in the air comes from the oceans um, the biggest source of carbon dioxide produced on land is volcanic activity um, even domesticated animals, farm animals, produce five times as much carbon dioxide as does human industry. And so way, way, way down on the list, a tiny fraction of 1%, so small that it's almost not possible to measure it. That tiny fraction of 1% of the whole of carbon dioxide is the one that keeps the balance. Um, you know, maybe there's something not quite right here. Or as Mr. Gore said when he did his wonderful presentation showing that the geological record shows that there's direct correspondence between uh, increased world temperatures and increased carbon dioxide. And he did say that, you know, mathematically there are a few problems with it, but he didn't say what the problems were. And the problem is that the temperature goes up first and then the carbon dioxide rises a couple of hundred years later. Well, why should this be? Well, if you warm up the oceans, and that does take a long time, there's a tremendous amount of water there, but if you warm them up, they give off carbon dioxide. Cool them down, they absorb carbon dioxide. And that, remember, is where 90% of the world's carbon dioxide comes from, from the oceans. So, if you get a long warm period that warms up the oceans 
after a few hundred years, that's how long it takes to warm them up, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases. Hmm. Um, maybe we should look into this again and maybe we should ask Mr. Gore to invest some of the billions that he's you know, cashed with his pet project, with his fairy tale, invest some of that in technologies to produce carbon dioxide, you know, like burning coal and things like that, so we can get the temperatures back up again where this, we would like them to be. What do you think? You know, are you going to believe a, well, what the chief progenitor has now called a fairy tale, a religion? Or are you going to believe the evidence of your own eyes, ears, and frozen fingers? Just think about that while I go and order another pina colada. Thank you.